Are you stuck on a treadmill of life? Feeling like you're running in place, constantly drained of energy and joy? You're not alone. We all hit those moments when dreams feel distant and the urge to give up feels tempting. But what if your greatest strength could be unlocked by simply letting go? Today, we're diving into the timeless wisdom of Stoicism, taught by Marcus Aurelius and Seneca, and exploring the power found in emotional reset. Get ready to learn 10 life-changing insights that will equip you with the courage and wisdom to escape the hamster wheel and step into a world of peace, clarity, and purpose. This video is your compass, a guide to finding the bravery to let go and the discernment to know when it's time. If you're ready to turn your back on what no longer serves you and step into a life you can control, you've come to the right place. Let's begin! Lesson 1. Not everything deserves your energy. Letting go is often seen as a sign of failure or weakness, but it holds an untapped power capable of dramatically transforming your life when used wisely. This ancient practice, rooted in Stoicism, teaches us the art of detachment and the importance of focusing on what truly matters. Imagine standing at a crossroads where each path represents a choice. You're bound to situations, people, or habits that drain you, or you can take a bold step toward growth and inner peace. Marcus Aurelius and Seneca, with their timeless wisdom, urged us to understand that our strength doesn't lie in enduring unnecessary hardship, but in choosing where we invest our precious energy. Harnessing this power in today's fast-paced world means recognizing when a job, relationship, or lifestyle is no longer serving your highest good. It's acknowledging that some battles aren't worth fighting, not because you're incapable of winning, but because the victory itself is hollow. It involves listening to that inner voice whispering that there's more to life, and having the courage to step out of the noise to find harmony within. Letting go doesn't mean running away from challenges. It means moving towards a life of purpose and fulfillment. It's creating space for new opportunities aligned with your aspirations and values, transforming surrender from an act of defeat into a powerful choice for change. Lesson 2. Setting boundaries isn't selfish. In fact, the act of establishing boundaries is not selfish at all. It's a masterstroke of wisdom and self-care. Imagine every interaction you have, every decision to say yes or no is drawing a line in the sand. These lines are not to shut out the world, but to define where your peace begins and where chaos ends. It's truly an art form, one that demands the finesse of a painter but requires the strength of a warrior. Letting go, in this context, becomes your greatest power a declaration that you value your peace more than the world's noise. The brutal truth is that your energy and emotional well-being are not endless resources. They are treasures you have the right to fiercely protect. When you choose to distance yourself from situations or people who consistently trample on your boundaries, you are not being cold or cruel, you are practicing a form of radical self-respect. It's simple in its execution and transformative in its impact. This act sends a clear message, I am the guardian of my peace, and I decide who and what deserves my time and energy. This choice is deeply rooted in the Stoic philosophy of understanding what is within our control and letting go of what isn't. Letting go doesn't mean giving up, it means choosing the battles worth fighting, the engagements that enrich rather than exhaust you. It's recognizing that not every fight deserves your presence and not every argument deserves your voice. In the modern rhythm of life, where everyone is vying for your attention and time, Choosing where to step back and where to lean in isn't just wise, it's essential for your mental and emotional health. Lesson 3. Closure doesn't always come from outside. Let's address a common misconception, the idea that closure, the elusive sense of peace we crave after a difficult situation or relationship, can only be granted by someone or something outside of ourselves. We sit desperately at the door of our hearts, waiting for an apology, a sign, or an acknowledgement that may never come. 
we hold ourselves back and hinder our progress in life by pursuing this external closure. However, as Stoicism teaches, we have the capacity to be the architects of our own peace, using the power of letting go even while the echoes of the conversation still reverberate within us. The strength of walking away might seem counterintuitive to what the world often tells us that strength lies in staying, fighting, confronting. But there is wisdom in the words of a Stoic sage who once said, your happiness in life depends on the quality of your thoughts. Let those words resonate within you the next time you consider your power. It's not about confrontation. It's not about waiting for an apology or an explanation. It's through taking control of the quality of your thoughts that you find true strength. True strength lies in choosing self-love, choosing peace over emotional turmoil, prioritizing growth over resentment. When you walk away physically, you must also walk away metaphorically. You must commit to dismantling the thoughts that pull you back into the spiral of hurt and confusion. This is where the power of letting go shines brightly, a specific tool in your arsenal to combat lingering pain. Imagine turning the key, and instead of waiting for a sign, deciding to actively pursue closure from within. Break free from the chains and become the commander of your thoughts. Direct your mind toward shores of kindness. Shift your focus from why to what now. Turn your experiences into bridges, not barriers. Give yourself the ending you believe only someone else could provide. This is the secret power of letting go and the key to achieving personal peace. Lesson 4. Growth often lies outside your comfort zone. Have you ever stared at a closed door, your heart pounding with the desire to turn your back on the familiar? This is the crossroads of change, difficult but exhilarating. Like the Stoics believed, courage isn't just charging into battle, it's knowing when to retreat for a greater purpose. Consider the butterfly before it dances with the wind. It must first emerge from the safety of its cocoon. Our greatest strength is revealed when we dare to leave our cocoons, our comfort zones, not because the outside world becomes less frightening, but because we owe it to ourselves to explore the wings we possess. Choosing to let go is not an admission of defeat. It's choosing a different battleground where you're more likely to win. It's acknowledging that growth sprouts from the ground tilled by change and uncertainty. Drawing a line in the sand with situations that hinder our growth is a necessary liberation. It takes extraordinary courage to step out of the known into the vastness of the unknown, but within that vastness lies the opportunity to reinvent yourself, to build a life that deeply resonates with your core. To echo the sentiments of the Stoic, Marcus Aurelius, he mused, the best revenge is not to become like your enemy. So letting go isn't running, it's choosing not to participate in pointless battles. Equipped with this understanding, Imagine the horizons you can explore, the people you can become. Like the butterfly taking its first flight, stepping out of your comfort zone is your first step towards a magnificent metamorphosis, a journey of self-fulfillment and discovery that lies within the art of walking away. Lesson 5. You can't change other people. There's a subtle power in realizing that some battles aren't worth fighting especially when those battles involve trying to change those around us. Attempting to mold someone into your idealized image can be as futile as trying to teach a fish to climb a tree. It drains your energy, dims your joy, and most importantly, ignores a fundamental truth. Personal growth and transformation come from within, sparked by individual awareness, not external persuasion. Recognizing this can liberate you from the burden of unmet expectations, allowing you to focus on the one person you can change yourself. The more you try to control something, the more it controls you. Release yourself and let things take their natural course. Let go could be the mantra uttered by modern Stoics, echoing the wisdom that reminds us of the freedom found in acceptance. It's not about giving up. It's about redirecting your efforts. Instead of pouring your soul into changing others, 
Invest that energy into personal growth and self-care. Cultivate interests that enrich your spirit, establish habits that nurture your physical and mental well-being, and engage in relationships that nurture mutual growth. Through this, you become the beacon of change, not by forcing others to change, but by inspiring it through your example. Harnessing the power to let go requires a deep connection with your core principles and an understanding of what truly matters to you. It's about setting boundaries gracefully and standing firm in the face of challenges that threaten your peace. Every step back from attempting to change someone else is a step forward in your journey of self-discovery and growth. It fosters an environment where relationships can flourish on mutual respect and understanding, rather than attempting to force each other into predetermined molds of what we think they should be. Letting go isn't just about stepping back from the battle of changing others, it's about stepping into a life where you can grow, based on the intelligent understanding that change starts with you. Lesson 6. Trust Your Intuition Embracing the power to walk away is an art, a delicate dance with the rhythm of life, and at its core is the act of deep trust in your intuition. It's like having an inner compass, guiding you towards peace and fulfillment, even when the path is unclear. This compass doesn't shout, it whispers, gently nudging you towards decisions that align with your deepest values. Learning to pay attention to this inner guidance takes courage. It's about being brave enough to stop, listen, and act on what feels right, even when it goes against societal expectations or the opinions of those around you. Mastering the art of letting go begins with cultivating a quiet mind, one that can hear the whispers of intuition amidst the noise of life. This might mean finding moments of stillness throughout your day, creating pauses where you can touch in with yourself. Ask yourself, does this resonate with my core? If the answer is a quiet no, that's your cue. It's about learning to be comfortable with solitude, sitting with your thoughts and recognizing the guidance they offer without immediate reaction or seeking external validation. This skill empowers you. It puts you firmly in the driver's seat of your life, allowing you to make choices from a place of self-awareness and faith. Lesson 7. Letting go doesn't mean giving up. Imagine you're playing a game of chess and realize halfway through that your strategy is leading you down a dead end. The bravest move is to change your game plan, even if it means sacrificing a valuable piece. Now, apply this logic to the grand board of life. Each step back, each moment you choose to walk away from a situation that no longer serves your purpose, is not a sign of failure, but a strategic retreat. This act is your power move, your silent roar declaring, I value my peace and progress more than the illusion of winning by any means. Reflect on the subtle guidance of Epictetus, a stoic sage who declared, make the best use of what is in your power, and take the rest as it happens. These words, though ancient, reflect a modern truth. Focus on the impact you can make from within, not the external chaos. Embrace the idea that letting go isn't running away from challenges. It's acknowledging that true strength lies in wisely choosing your battles. It's recognizing when a certain path is no longer aligned with who you are and where you want to go. This awareness, the ability to separate and move towards a path that promises growth, is what has defined champions. Letting go takes strength, but it requires self-awareness and courage, qualities that lie dormant within each of us, waiting to be unleashed. It's about making peace with the idea that not every situation deserves your energy. Apply this philosophy to personal relationships, career choices, or any area of life where you find yourself at a crossroads. Ask yourself, does this bring me closer to the person I want to become? If the answer is no, you've uncovered a powerful truth. Letting go isn't losing, it's strategically moving toward your true goals. Let this choice be a statement of your independence from external circumstances that seek to define your journey. See it as your greatest power. Lesson 8. Let your actions speak. Every battle we choose not to fight, 
Every harsh word we decide not to utter brings us closer to a profound strength many overlook. Letting go might seem like the easy way out, the path of least resistance, but it requires immense courage and a deep understanding of one's values and capabilities. It's in these moments, when faced with negativity or conflict, that the decision to not engage becomes a testament to your wisdom. Marcus Aurelius once mused on how we harm ourselves more by taking things too personally and failing to let go. His words echo the power of letting go not because we can't respond, but because we choose peace over righteousness. The conscious choice to distance ourselves from situations or people who drain our energy or contradict our values is an act of self-protection and respect. It's knowing the value of peace and refusing to let it be compromised. It's not running away from challenges, it's acknowledging that not all battles are ours to fight. It's recognizing that our time, energy, and peace are precious, and we have the right to decide where and how we invest them. By letting go, we reclaim our power and shift our focus to actions aligned with who we are and who we aspire to become. These actions speak to our character and deep intentions without the need for words. Harnessing this strength requires a deep connection with ourselves, understanding that silence and non-engagement can be the most powerful responses. When we intentionally step back, we're not revealing weakness, but a commendable strength in recognizing our limits and wisely choosing our battles. It's an intentional strategy that allows us to conserve our energy for truly worthwhile goals, to build a life that resonates with our deepest values. In practicing this, we become symbols of composure and resilience in a world often driven by instant reactions and the noise of conflict. Letting go becomes our greatest power, a silent affirmation of our autonomy and an inner peace that can't be shaken. Lesson 9 Seek Validation Within Seeking validation from within is about marching to the beat of your own drum, even when the world seems to be orchestrating a symphony that drowns out our individual rhythms. It's finding strength in solitude and understanding that your worth doesn't hinge on the applause or disapproval of the crowd. Imagine yourself as a mighty oak tree. Its roots run deep, not because of fleeting admiration from passers-by, but because of the nourishment it draws from its own ground. Self-worth As Marcus Aurelius once pondered on the nature of external approval, is it in my control? He mused. No, he concluded. Then let it go. His insightful nature reminds you that the key to unshakable peace doesn't lie in collecting external validation, but in nurturing an internal sanctuary of self-acceptance. To embark on this soul-stirring journey, start by cultivating an honest and powerful dialogue with yourself. Rewrite the narratives that society has etched into your soul, removing those that don't serve your path of self-discovery. Envision your goals, dreams, and the person you long to be. Then, set out on that path with unwavering confidence, knowing that detours and failures are merely lessons in disguise, not reflections of your worth. Create a personal mantra that aligns with your core. Let it be your guiding light when the fog of doubt rolls in, and when the outside world buzzes with opinions and expectations. Remind yourself of the truth, value, and beauty in your journey. It's in those moments of unwavering commitment to your self-worth that you will discover boundless strength and freedom. Seek validation within. Lesson 10. Breathe in the fresh air. Your life is a masterpiece of painting only you have the power to paint. Each stroke, each hue represents the choices you make in the paths you choose to walk or walk away from. Embracing the fresh air is about choosing a new, expansive, and open path, one that allows you to clear your mind and refresh your spirit. Think of it this way. When you're in a room where the air is stale and suffocating, you can't deny the instant sense of relief and rejuvenation when you step outside and take a deep breath of fresh air. Deciding to step away from situations that no longer serve your growth or happiness creates a similar effect. 
It's opening the doors of your soul to receive new possibilities and perspectives. In making this choice, you're not running away. You're moving towards a life that better aligns with who you are and who you want to be. Marcus Aurelius once pondered on the value of maintaining inner peace as your ultimate fortress. If you can withdraw into yourself, he mused, you've stumbled upon your greatest strength. In applying this wisdom, recognize that protecting your peace sometimes means leaving behind what hinders it. It's necessary letting go of the old to make way for new seeds to sprout. Imagine the potential waiting when you allow yourself to leave behind environments or relationships that feel like you're constantly fighting against a relentless headwind. It's time to turn around so that wind can push you forward and embrace your journey of self-discovery with open arms. This choice to walk away is a testament to your power, a celebration of your happiness. In doing so, you become a beacon of inspiration and resilience. The horizon ahead is vast, promising new beginnings and new adventures. Embrace it! Let each step you take away from what dims your light be a step towards your personal awakening and happiness. Reflecting on the wisdom of Stoicism and the art of letting go, we discover that strength is found in the discernment and courage to make wise choices and commitments. It reveals the value of strategic retreat, conserving our energy for goals aligned with our core values. Before we close today, we have a question for you. What have you learned from this video? What will you apply, and how will you rise above and become better each day? Share your thoughts in the comments below for us and everyone to see. Thank you for joining us on this journey here at the path leading to the light. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our newest content. Keep thriving, and we'll see you in the next one.